Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. I'm closing out in Indonesia. I've explored Bali as well as the area of Java. Now there are many islands here in Indonesia, but these are the areas that I explored. So I'm going to be talking on behalf of these areas, of the people, the country, of the culture, as well as the various religions that are practiced here. First we're starting off with Hinduism, with Muslim, and with a little Buddhist as well as Christianity. But overall, the main focus with religion is Hinduism and Muslims. These people, all in all, through and through, very spiritual, praying early in the morning, whether you're Muslim or Hindu. Could be at four in the morning, could be at six in the morning. They pray, they give offerings, they burn incense. Very connected in, in their heart space, to their higher self, to source, to God, to the divine. So, besides that, um, let's see, the country is hot and humid, that's irrelevant. The driving, very different, a lot of motor scooters, weaving in and out, less cars, more motor scooters, getting around. Each village, each island, that's the main focus. You'll see the scooters in front of the car, next to the car, and behind the car. There aren't so many street lights or stop signs, but it's a constant flow. And I have to say these people drive very, very well. I've never seen vehicles get closer to one another than here in Indonesia. Weaving in and out, and they'll beep a little bit, a lot of passing going on on these small streets throughout Indonesia. The people are very friendly, and they not only love Americans, but they seem they welcome a lot of people all around the world as well. I only speak on behalf of, the, of an American because I was born and raised in America. So these are my experiences, my interactions. All they want to do is befriend us, help us. It's interesting because along my travel, a lot of people will ask me, do you travel alone? A lot of people are asking me this question here in Indonesia more so than in Europe. And I say, yes, I'm traveling alone. They feel that I'm in brave. I'm brave. I say, I live and believe that every country, culture, people, religion are good. I believe in the good in the world, the good in the people. I stay focused there. And that is what becomes my reality. Moving forward into this video is our fears create our reality. They block us. I'll give you an example, as I mentioned in another video, at one of the Hindu temples here in Indonesia, I was sitting down with an Indonesian young man, and his fear was about if he went to America or when he got accepted into America because he's having a hard time getting into America with his visa, even though his uncle's there, he's supposed to move to New York. But the bottom line is he has a fear of being attacked by Americans, the people, he's Muslim, is everything that we're fed about different people, countries, and cultures, religions, true? Well, I'm experiencing these people firsthand, one-on-one. -on -one. And all I could say is they are the most, they are the most kindest, nicest, welcoming, loving people I've ever met thus far along my travels. So excited to see you. Wanting to interact, wanting to learn working with a lot of people individually, as groups or families, here with my healing work. So, the fear was he would be attacked in America. I could feel where it was at, within his body, right at his chest space. I feel horrible heaviness, like a weight, like a bowling ball, if you will. I felt it right away when he was talking about this. That was blocking him from getting into America. Another girl from China was also having a hard time getting into America to visit. She wasn't being approved for her visa, but we believe. So if that person from China believes that America, Americans, don't want people from outside their country, sorry, then that is what's gonna be created in her vibration. It's gonna be hard for her to get into America. If she has no beliefs or attachments or thoughts around it is hard to get into America, 
then, guess what? It will be easy to get approved for her visa. As I stay focused on all the good in the world, good people, religions, country, cultures, everything, I stay focused there. My video on um, bullseye life, bullseye focus. I stay focused on what I want to create, not what I don't want to create. And every time I notice a fear might come in, a worry, an uncertainty, a doubt, whatever that is, I feel it coming in. And then right away, boom, blow it up. And I transition to what I want to create, not what I don't want to create. So be conscious of what you're creating all the time. Your fears are stopping you, are blocking you from getting where you want to go. Just as the, chi the girl from China, the young man from Indonesia, their beliefs or fears about that country, culture, people. Because what's said on the radio station, what's said on the news. A lot of people from around the world, even in Europe, have a bad taste in their mouth about Americans because they keep on hearing that Americans don't want anybody in their country except their own kind. What is their own kind is the question. Sorry, I just have to hit the button here. What is their own kind? Americans are also immigrants, what they forget sometimes. My ancestors came from Europe. I'm German, Irish, English, Swedish. That's where we came from. And you also, an American, where did you come from? Where did your ancestors come from? So why are we blocking other people from coming to our country? These people are beautiful and nice, and all they want to do is befriend us, love us, learn about us. They think very highly of Americans, and I think very highly of all the people in the world. I believe in the good in the world, in the good in people, and I don't care what color, what race, what culture. I have no separation even from feminine to masculine. I don't do healings differently on a male or a female. I don't do teachings differently. I don't separate a teaching from a man's group to a woman's group. To me, that's less evolved. There is no separation. I don't care if you're a woman, if you're a man. We're all the same at our core. We're all created the same. We're operating differently with what our thoughts, what our beliefs, what our fears are. So every time you get a fear within your energy, dissolve it. Acknowledge it. Don't be afraid of it. But let it go and recreate your new thought. Another person I experienced along my past, she had her backpack stolen. They took everything out, just her backpack. She just got this new backpack. She had a fear that something could happen to it. Or she didn't want it to be taken. She likes it. She just got it. And what happens? Because it's a worry, it's a fear. It created it getting stolen. And she's walking down the streets thinking, oh, I hope I don't get robbed or whatever the word she used. Why are you even focusing there? It's not even a thought that crosses my mind. I used to walk the streets of Chicago at two in the morning, three in the morning sometimes. No fear. I travel the world with no fear. I travel the world with love in my heart and my mind, my body, and I keep going. And I keep on creating more higher positive vibrations and experiences. And that is what I'm here to teach you to do as well. The people in Indonesia, whether Muslim, Hindu, or Buddhist, are wonderful. They're welcoming to all. When they ask me my religion, I just say I'm a spiritualist. I was born and raised Christian, Roman Catholic upbringing. I believe in all good, all love, in one God. And that one God and that one love connects all of us. So that's what I'm here to talk on today. Let go of those fears because that's what's creating your reality. And the people in Indonesia in these religions are nothing but beautiful, kind, loving, accepting at their core, as are you. At your truth and at your core, you are pure love and pure light. It's just all the different experiences, fears, thoughts, beliefs, programs that have been embedded into us, brainwashed into us, is covering our light, is covering our truth. Don't listen to everything you see or read or hear. This is not always truth. 
You need to see beyond the illusion and look for the truth. You look for the truth and you'll start finding the truth more and more. You'll be attracting higher and higher vibrations to you. You stay focused there and that's all you see and that's all that will come into your vibration, your energy, and your life. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World.